Good morning, Boston. I have come to one of my favorite cities in America. It's my third visit to Boston. And I first came here when I was about 12 with mom and dad and I absolutely loved it. It's just, there's so much history. Um, and it's raining, unfortunately, but I have a very cozy room with a fireplace. And I had the worst night's sleep ever, but that's okay. Let's see the I haven't really turned the fireplace on, so it looks a bit pathetic, but it's cute. I am going to speak, make a speech today at Harvard, and um, that is a complete career ambition, lifelong ambition. Um, I'm going to be speaking to students um, about my career, and the conference is called Women in Leadership, so it's a huge honour, and I'm very excited, and I can't wait to see the campus. As usual, I'm late, Mackenzie always gets so mad at me, but I'm trying to eat a bit of breakfast before this long day, so travel tip, I always travel with these um, organic peanut butter sachets because no matter where you are, they're going to have a bagel or toast and that is exactly what I'm having for breakfast, or at least trying to, very briefly. This is why I love social media. So Simran here is a student. Hi. And English as well. Yes, so British love. from Manchester. And she um, messaged me on Insta stories and said, are you here? Why don't I show you around? So I am geeking out. She's taking me into all the secret places like the Hogwarts dining room. Yeah, right? we're going to go there next actually. <laughs> and the libraries, which I love. So I'm very lucky. Thank you. No, of course. So this is the dining hall. Freshmen, freshmen only. That's pretty impressive. But the food, not your fave? Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> so we think Mark Zuckerberg lived in that house. I'm not sure, don't quote me on it. <laughs> don't worry. And then Bill Gates was around here. He lived around in this one here. Okay. Right in that corner Okay, okay. There. Natalie Portman was in your house? Yes, I'm Matt Damon. And Matt Damon, I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Very Big cool. Big footsteps to fill. <laughs> yeah. So this is Harry Widener's study, who donated the library to Harvard. He was sadly killed in the Titanic trying to rescue his rare books, so he was a proper bookworm. And I was going to say legend has it, but it's not a legend, it's fact. Um, in the contract, his, these flowers have to be changed every single day in his study, and if they're not, then the library goes back to the city of Cambridge, apparently, no longer owned by Harvard. So I just had a tour of the campus at Harvard, and um, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm with Stephanie and Elizabeth and we are about to talk to loads of girls who are filing into the room. Having a mentor in your career is really important um, and there will be someone and in turn when you are the big boss, which you all will be, pay it forward. You know, when you have an intern or an assistant who really shows a spark and wants to be there and learn from you, um, take the time to explain things to them. I miss autumn. Look behind me, it's so beautiful. The wind is blowing. The trees are yellow and red and orange. My talk went really well, P.S. And now I'm back to the airport. I am in the Universal lot, just going for an exciting meeting with NBC about doing some TV. You can see all the, um, well, you could see just now, lots of the golf carts everywhere. It's like a mini city and um, it's right next to the actual um, theme park as well, which is always quite funny. Just having a quick zhuzh in the restroom pre-meeting, I have not been in this building for a while and I can remember getting offered fashion star on the spot in a meeting when it was just supposed to be a meeting, not a casting, and my heart was pounding and being back here reminds me of that and all these corridors full of fabulous TV shows. Just putting my good luck earrings on by my friend, Rebecca de Ravenel, made out of wood. I don't know if they're my good luck earrings, I just think they're quite fab.
so that went pretty well. Had a good chat about a couple of new potential TV shows and what they're up to and also what's going on in the digital space because I find that the most interesting and exciting. Today is Friday and we've decided to start the weekend a bit early because Ben has come to stay. Do you remember Ben from some of my Insta stories? He's a really good friend of ours from England. He's a bit like Mackenzie's naughtier, more annoying brother. So we love to just bully him a bit. And the boys are trying on trainers. We're in Venice, we've come for the afternoon. Never really take the day off, especially not on a school day. So I'm quite excited. Here we are, here they are. Cool. You done? Nice guys. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I do like them, I'll come back when I'm drunk. <laughs> Actually drunk shopping is amazing. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I don't think mine's got the uh, engine on it. Oh, it's got an alarm going off. Does that Sorry. mean you stole it? Ben? It has got an alarm. Did you guys just steal them though? I thought they didn't move unless you paid for them. <laughs> just go. <laughs> Go into the on. traffic. No. See if the traffic will stop or not. They work for a bit and then the, then the alarm starts. But <laughs> oh, I, I see. Guys, can you both get on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bulking up for the winter. <laughs> so this is my beautiful friend Irene's store. And I feel like I'm on holiday. Gorge. Is it? Yeah. You can buy still floating around. Oh, that, like, it's getting there. Something it's cool, right? Yeah. You know that? Give us a 12. So, we've come to our friend's restaurant for lunch. Ocean View. We're at Elefante. And so far, we're a beer and an Aperol Sprit thin. And it's absolutely gorgeous in here. I love it. It's my first time visiting. There's our mate Limbo, just surveying the sea. This is his restaurant. He's the chef. Mackenzie is riveting conversation as usual. As usual. Cheers! Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at I look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> you are Michael Jackson. You're losing hips. They look like that's it. Everyone's wearing the hats these days. <laughs> no, it's because I don't want to burn my forehead. Good morning. What's going on? Ben's so lazy. He always wakes up late. Well, it's not really late. We get up at like five. He wakes up at like eight. So I'm just choosing the end of my Theragun here. What's that, just for people who don't know? It's a massaging. It's a torture chamber. It's good. It's, good. it's an actual massager, but it's very loud, and we're going to go and prank Ben. I've done hair, makeup, outfit, and Ben oh looks like that. Wow, I don't think I'd approach you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Game of Thrones or something. So we're going to Venice Beach because our friend Sam owns a very cool restaurant there called Great White. It's more of a cafe. And we are more going the there to food. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> more of a local cafe. More than a cafe. More it's spirit. everything. It's great. It's great. And I've done a... <laughs> Emphasis on the grease, because <laughs> they don't serve spoons. And the spoon. Stop. 
I've also got a big conference call, so I'm looking at my notes in the car as we go, and I thought the conference call was now, so I suddenly panicked that I hadn't read all these documents, but actually I've got another hour, so that's good. And then we're going to shoot something screen, else down in Venice. We're going to green screen you into Miami, or pink screen you. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> what have you done, you silly boy? Come on, come on. <laughs> the famous blue bowl at Great White. This is the, the bestest restaurant in Venice. We love it. Always packed, jam packed. Couldn't get more quintessential than that, could it? A surfer crossing the road under the Venice sign with his sur surfboard. Wow, you look like a proper backpacker, Ben. No one would think that you were a grown-up man with your own company. <laughs> <laughs> Louise lives in California and doesn't like the beach or the sand, so Mackenzie is carrying her. just had almost an hour's nap which I had to sneak in because um, uh, Honor's having a bit of a sleep regression at the moment which is apparently a thing for nine month old babies because she's uh, uh, so close to crawling she's she's trying to walk as well at the same time and there's so much going on in her brain that it wakes her up in the night and she will literally be in her cot not crying but we look on the monitor and she's just there on all fours trying to crawl but she can't quite do it but she's waking up every night at the moment at least once for quite a while she just kind of can't go back to sleep anyway that the result of that is that Mackenzie and I are really, really tired again. And um, I have got a big work event tonight, which I'm really looking forward to um, with Netta Porter. And so we are going downtown. Well, I am. I'm going on my own. But I do have a fabulous dress and some fabulous shoes. And so I need to hurry up and get ready because the car's coming in half an hour and that isn't really long enough for me to get ready. Mackenzie always gets mad at me because I'm always late. So I better stop filming. that much inside last night because it was so dark but it was basically the most incredible evening ever um, and it was um, empowering women a year on from the Me Too movement and there were readings of um, important poems and letters from various women mostly from women and um, they had everyone from Charlize Theron reading um, Aaron Taylor Johnson um, Tiffany Haddish, who was hilarious, she wore, she wrote, read out a letter that she had written age 18 to herself, which was just brilliant. Anna Kendrick, um, Leslie Mann, who was like my favourite all-time person. Anyway, um, it is quite early and as usual, someone's trying to bite my leg. So it's back to mummy, hello, life. You want some breakfast? Do you want some breakfast? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so dress and earrings are off but it was a really really fun night and it kind of reminded me um, not reminded me but just strengthened the feelings I have <laughs> now not just as a woman but as a mother of a daughter and the kind of world I would like her to grow up in <laughs> and the changes that are being made at the moment by women around the world whether they're marching or writing or, or saying things an interesting time it's got me really thinking morning today I am 
on my way to the airport I'm going to New York for a couple of nights for um, a project and it's actually a food festival I'm doing with Capital One credit cards so that should be quite fun um, gosh it's bright um, and I am a bit sad because I didn't actually get to say goodbye to Honor because Mackenzie thought I had and he put her down for a nap and so I didn't want to wake her up little things like that actually upset me more than I thought they might um, but anyway I'm going to meet Emily at the airport now and then we are off I've got loads of boring work to do on the plane and try and get a bit of sleep as well um, but I'm excited to be in New York just getting myself a bit of a basic coffee before the flight a little bit of brekkie in the lounge First morning in New York. Hi, Rachie. Remember Rachie from Plain Jane. I love Rachie so much and I miss her. Oh, <laughs> quite energetic for early in the morning. And morning. <laughs> um, it's a rainy Saturday morning, but I kind of like it because it reminds me a bit of England. Um, and I'm just getting my hair and makeup done before um, I head off to this food festival, most of which is on a rooftop, so hopefully it's not going to be too rainy and stormy but um, I had boiled eggs this morning, um, soft boiled eggs, and it didn't come in an egg cup. And I thought to myself, I've lived here for 10 years. Do egg cups not exist in America? We have egg cups. Uh, yeah. Maybe just not They gypped hotel. you out on the egg cups. I know, they did. This oh, place well. is fancy. I'm surprised I, they have egg I, cups. No, but that's what I thought. I thought surely if they had them, they would have put them on. Hashtag egg cup gate. Yes. <laughs> Always. Get it trendy. Love Rach for a good hashtag. Do you remember when we used to say, um, this is when Kim Kardashian was kind of new and cool? No offence yeah, Kim, but I don't watch you anymore. WWKD? Yeah, WWKD, what would Kim, Kim do? do? We used to say that on yeah. Jane. Don't really say it anymore. Mm -mm. It's lunchtime. We've been at a huge food festival and um, buying a tuna sandwich. I love a tuna sandwich. Let's find some um, pirate's booty, I'm obsessed. Oh, is it out of control? Good. But so are these. Ooh. Okay, these are my favourite. These are like a healthier version of this. You get orange fingers with that. They're slightly more satisfying on the crunch. There's slightly more oomph to them. But they do stick in your teeth quite a lot, so I'll go with the healthy. Church where someone from the sex of the city got married, but I can't remember who. Miranda got married, right? On it. We're running into people. Why? Answers on a postcard. We are shooting, which means I have to really piss off the traffic and keep walking back and forth across the same cross street like this. Look at her. What kind of chef does 
she call herself? <laughs> Only kidding, she's amazing. Remember she's on my YouTube? Below, somewhere below, guys. You know, someone messaged me the other day and they're like, we're watching you guys cook right now. And I'm like, that was like a year and a half ago. Was it? Yeah. I've made that since. Salmon, pasta with basil vinaigrette. That's the best. And a peach salad. So good. With radishes. Mm -hmm. The best basil dressing ever. Yeah. You've made it or Mackenzie made it? <laughs> Just kidding, I love you. <laughs> Ready, leaving, this is a bit bumpy, New York, over and out, short but sweet, um, and we are flying back both kind of knackered actually, but in a good way, knackered, did you say knackered? No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The official meaning is quite rude, it means ex exhausted from sex, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> just tired guys, just plain old simple tired. Um, yeah, totally gonna nap on the plane. Um, all right, see you on board. So, off we go. We got to the airport very early, couldn't get on an earlier flight, so we've spent about three hours just working in the lounge, and we're both pooped, ready for a glass of red wine, and a long nap, and then I can't wait to see my baby.